After every 25 sequencing runs or every three months, whichever occurs first, all user-performed maintenance components will require replacement. This includes the five inline sipper tube filters on the left-hand side of the sipper manifold and the tubing for the two main pumps located under the pump cover between the camera and the fluidics area of the instrument. Remove the reagent's cassette from the instrument's fluidics area and remove all the sipper tubes from the sipper manifold. With the sipper manifold still in its raised and tilted back position, remove the six thumb screws that hold the manifold cover in place. Then remove the cover and set it aside. Unscrew the tubing fitting from the filter located at the frontmost position. Unscrew and discard the filter, then repeat this process for all remaining buffer CB inline filters for a total of five positions. Next, install five new filters taking care to make them only finger tight and to not over tighten reconnecting the tubing at each filter location. Being careful not to pinch or catch any tubing, place the manifold cover back in position, lift the manifold while holding the cover in that position, and replace and tighten the six thumb screws. Remove the pump cover, unsnap the connectors from their holding clip at each end of the pump tubing, and disconnect each end by carefully unscrewing the connector. Then pull the pump tubing in a left to right direction to gently remove the tubing from the pump housing for replacement. Thread the replacement tubing along the router pulley and route the tubing in a clockwise left to right direction to seat and position the replacement tubing. Reconnect both ends of the pump tubing to the corresponding fluidics line, making certain to match each end of the pump tubing to the correct line to prevent a malfunction. When screwing together the male and female tubing ends, holding the female end stationary while turning the male connector end will prevent twisting of the tubing inside the pump housing, which would likely cause reduced pump performance and could increase chances of tube failure. Snap the four connectors back into their mounting clips, place the cover back on, and repeat the process for the second pump.